Ciao gangster Voodier, so as you probably read in the title, the Oculus Quest is set to be the first VR console on the market. And that's very, very interesting because it's actually something very new that we're not used to right now. And the competition will be much, much different there. But why we're talking about the first console on the market and not just another VR headset? That's because the store would be much more strict and curated than any other store right now for VR content. Is this gonna be good? Is this gonna be the right move? Well, let's get to it. Okay, so here we are. The first thing we have to explain actually is why this Oculus Quest is considered a console and not really a VR headset like all the other. Why they're not really aiming to competition with like the HTC Vive or the Vive Focus or the Lenovo Mirage or the Rift itself, the Oculus Go, all the other VR headsets on the market right now. Well, there's a reason because here they want really to attract people that are coming not from a VR background but actually people that they never tried VR and they want to get in gaming because gaming is the big thing over here with the Oculus Quest. One hint that we had actually was at OC5 when they were talking about the Oculus Quest and they unveiled it. They actually were talking about 50 plus titles and there were not much if you consider that the Oculus Go was out from more than a year at that point, and the Oculus Go has actually thousands of apps that could be easily translated from one to the other, because if you consider they both have mobile chipset, they're both Snapdragon chipset, one is the 815 on the Oculus Go, and the Oculus Quest is gonna have the 835, that is much more powerful, so gonna be able to handle better also the 6DOF tracking, the ability to move and room scale and better graphics, of course, in the games. But this is not a last gen chipset, it has two years. So it makes a lot of sense that what you're doing is actually to aim a little down and trying to be a little more strict with the apps to be able to have apps that actually work in the best way as possible. Because as I said before, aiming to the regular consumer market, well, they are really looking for people that they don't wanna think about, oh, this game doesn't run as well, this thing doesn't run as well, but they want to have the same experience that a person have now on the Nintendo Switch, on the Xbox One or a PS4, when they go there just to game, relax, have their own time and just enjoy what they're doing. So what they're gonna do is actually a street and curated store, very similar to the one that we saw, not really in VR, like with the Oculus Rift, probably similar to the Oculus Rift at the beginning actually, but something that we are seeing now on the Xbox One, the Nintendo Switch or the PS4, where really the content that's arrived is really tested to work as best as possible over there. So there's not gonna be an early access part where we're gonna be able to try new games and stuff like that, but everything will be highly optimized to work as best as possible on this hardware that is not the most powerful hardware in the world so they really need to do something to make it shine to make it more enjoyable for every user now there's a downside to it is that, that we're not gonna see so many apps like we saw on the oculus go or so many apps as we see on steam vr every second that they pop up but the good thing that we're gonna have more quality and everything that you're gonna buy over there is gonna be curated better, tested, and ready for the release, really. Now, if you remember about my first review of the Oculus Quest when I was OC5, the thing that I was most excited was actually that USB Type-C on the side. And I was thinking already about the apps to side load on there. That means like to put like Android apps in there to use it directly. And well, luckily John Karma confirmed that we're gonna be able to do it as well. Because at the end of the day, the Oculus Quest and the Oculus Go, they just run on a different version of Android. So now if I think about it, I actually think it's a great idea to close a little the content to close a little the store to have more curated and highly optimized games over there. But as a tech savvy, a person that really like tech and uh, do then take the best out of the Oculus Quest was is a little a bummer. And also we're gonna have to see how they're gonna be with small devs that are working on those games and they actually have already some games on the Oculus Go. So my big question is, are we gonna be able to actually use the Oculus Go store in there? Are we gonna be able to use the Oculus Go application on the Oculus Quest as well? Probably not natively, but probably we're gonna be able to just take them out because they're just APK and translate them on the Oculus Quest and use it in 3D OF. I know that is not gonna be the best experience and that's that's why I understand why 
they are not really doing it. But it's kind of a bummer for all the devs that actually uploaded already a game over there. But the real question is, are you guys excited about it? What do you think about this move by Oculus? Do you think that it's the right move to aim actually to a competition with the Switch or the Xbox One instead of a competition with all the other VR players? Do you think that it's a good idea to actually close the store a little more to make it easier for people like us to play games in an easier way without having to like think too much about about, oh, this could run better than the other. This is not a good game for it. It's not really suggested. If you think about Sim as a lot of problem with bloatware over there, where there are like apps that they really come up every single second and many of those are trash actually but sometimes just small apps they come out from nothing and they become very very big so is this really the right move well that's something that you have to let me know in the comment below you know my idea but for now as always if you like the video like if you didn't like the video dislike subscribe to the channel for more about vr and tech because here we are a tech channel talking about all VR technology. I actually opened recently a Discord channel. It's very small and cozy, and that's the best thing actually, because we are able to really communicate much, much more. So you are super invited to join. The link is gonna be in the description below. And when you're there, well, uh, if you wanna subscribe, I already said it, but let's say it again, you can do so. If you wanna click the bell button, you're gonna be notified about the next video. There's gonna be the review actually of the Pimax 5K Plus that is very, very interesting product. Uh, there's a lot to talk about. And it's actually something that is put the bar up in PC VR when everybody is actually now focusing on mobile VR. So I think I said pretty much all guys. Again, thanks for watching. I see you guys in the next video. Let me know in the comment below what you think about everything and ciao.